Stay focused and energized using G Fuel. You can use the discount code OGXRays to get 10% off your entire order. Yo guys, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. Now, today we're going to be talking about DLC 2, The War Machine. It does look like we had an official announcement, which is pretty cool. Now, with this announcement, they announced three multiplayer maps, a new war map, and also zombies, so it's all really, really, really cool. Now, the thing about this is that they did tease a bit more information regarding war, and then also the multiplayer maps, and then zombies, it kind of was a little bit more hush-hush, but... Let's go ahead and jump into this information. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Hopefully it's informative. If you guys could do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video. It really does help out. And if you are new, if you want to stay up to date, follow the latest and greatest Call of Duty and Fortnite content, then make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on notifications by slapping that bell icon. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, Activision and Sledgehammer Games have officially announced the second DLC pack for Call of Duty World War II, The War Machine. The DLC pack 2 is available April 10th on PlayStation 4. Now they did show a bunch of images that have promotionals for the different maps as well as just like an overall image. I'll put those on screen for you guys that want to check it out. The War Machine DLC Pack 2 includes three multiplayer maps, all new war mode operation, and the next chapter of the Nazi zombie saga, The Shadowed Throne. Now this is the description for this map pack. Tensions escalate in DLC Pack 2 for Call of Duty World War II, The War Machine. Join the Allies and stop the powerful Axis advance in three new multiplayer maps that illustrate the might and global reach of the Nazi War Machine. Strike back and take part in the Allied invasion of Sicily in Operation Husky. The all new operation based war mode mission plus experience the latest Nazi Zombies chapter, The Shadowed Throne. Now as for each of these multiplayer maps, let's go ahead and go through them. The first one is called Dunkirk. Now before I give you guys a description of the maps, I do want to mention that all three of these maps are brand new maps. They're not remakes. None of these are remakes, which is really, really, really awesome. And I think this is what a lot of people wanted. I think they felt kind of cheated with the first map pack where one of them was a remake. And so I think they are just clamoring for brand new maps and this is exactly what they're going to get. Dunkirk says players face off on the sands and beachfront boardwalk of the French seaside city of Dunkirk. The map features a large open and dangerous beach area flanked by tight interiors throughout the buildings lining the beachfront. Sniping can be effective here though aggressive running and gunning can also pay off so keep sharp and watch your angles and surroundings to win the day. Egypt. For the first time in Call of Duty World War II we're bringing players to the battlefields of northern Africa and the Egyptian pyramids. Players fight in and around the ancient ruins of Giza with landmarks that you're sure to recognize. The map features an interior temple in the center that heats up during intense domination matches with more open exterior lanes to either side. There's something for everyone, as all ranges and playlists have a place to call home here. V2. Welcome to V2, a rocket development and test site located in rural Germany. V2 is a tight, ultra-fast-paced map that never lets up for a moment. The launch tower sits in the map center, providing a focal point and an opportunity to grab an elevated sightline on unsuspecting opponents. Short to mid-range engagements are dominant here, with fast and furious gameplay throughout Don't Blink. So all three of those maps sound really, really cool. And then there is the war map. Now the war map says, Operation Husky joined the Allies in the invasion of Sicily, one of the major blows against the Nazi war machine. Under the cover of darkness, gather and transmit intel on sensitive enemy ports, and then take to the skies in a fighter plane to protect bomber squadrons on their way to destroy the targets. This is going to have a brand new dogfight system, which I'm super excited for. I think that's going to be a lot of fun, so we'll definitely see what happens with that, but I'm super freaking excited for that. Then there's a short description for zombies. The Shadow Throne. The Shadow Throne brings their heroes into the heart of Nazi Germany to confront a desperate and murderous regime. Berlin is burning, and Dr. Straub's monstrous army is hellbent on purging his city of the Allied invaders. Join Marie, Drosten, Olivia, and Jefferson on their descent into madness in a city warped of terror, blood, and a war, as Nazi zombies step out from the shadows of history. I'm super excited for that, man. So we'll definitely see April 10th. It should be coming. We've got a new zombies map, the Shadow Throne, a new war map that's going to have dogfighting, and three brand new maps. I'm excited for all of these. April have hopefully come in here very very soon anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys found it informative hopefully it was helpful if you guys did enjoy it make sure you guys do drop a like on the video it would be super appreciated and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more content like this i'm going to have a ton more call of duty world war 2 news info rumors leaks and more coming so make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on notifications by slapping that bell icon so you won't miss a single video i also do have a twitter account go ahead and follow me over there usually i'm on there first when there's news and info like this so make sure you guys
guys follow me over there at the OG X rays and I also do have a gaming and second channel in case you guys want to see even more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Take care. Peace.